Hola, my name is Axel. And I'm Haley. Welcome to our channel, Dados and Amigos. Today we're going to be playing Glenmore 2 Chronicles, a game where we're going to be representing Scottish leaders and we are attempting to lead our clan to success. Yes, it is a game designed by Matthias Kramer, published by Fun Tales. It is a two to four player game and takes about an hour and a half to two hours to complete. I want to point out the uh, Chronicles portion of the name because this game comes with eight mini expansions that add up a little bit more uh, extra to the board, to the base game. And today we're going to be playing with Chronicle One: The Dragon Boat Races. That's right. So please join us on the table. So just before we get started, I want to give you a brief overview of how Glenmore 2 is played. Throughout the game, whoever is last in this rondelle is going to be taking their turn by picking their token and advancing it uh, to whatever tile they want to choose. Once they pick, choose a tile, they're going to pick that tile and place it on their hometown. Depending on where the tile is placed, it's going to trigger its own effect and the effect of all the tiles around it. These effects are going to give you uh, different types of resources which you can then use to acquire other tiles or you can uh, exchange them for victory points. We're also going to be able to acquire landmarks, uh, historical figures, and creating alliances with other Scottish clans. Mm -hmm. During the game, we're going to be going through four stack of tiles, A, B, C, and D. When one of those uh, stack of tiles becomes depleted we're going to be doing uh we're going to be scoring points for uh four types of categories which Haley will tell you a little bit more about so there are four different areas that we are going to get points for the first area is the number of scotsmen in your home castle so this castle right here is your home the second is the number of landmark cards that you have the third is the number of whiskey barrels that you got. And the fourth is the number of historical figures you have been able to acquire. They are also all listed right here in a row, as well as how they are scored and the number of points that you get for each number. Before we move on, let me tell you a bit about Chronicle 1, the Dragon Boat Race. In this expansion, uh, we're gonna have the ability to spend our movement points to move our adorable boat maple across the board. We're going to be moving in a clockwise direction and it's pretty much going to be that, a race. We're going to be racing each other to make it all the way back to our uh, home castle. When we reach certain points at the race, we're going to be able to claim rewards and whoever is the first one to make it back to their home castle is going to be rewarded with 15 points and a whiskey barrel. You are second, you get 10 points, but if you don't finish before the end of the game, you're not only gonna miss out on victory points, but you're also gonna be denied certain end of game scoring. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are gonna roll to see who goes first. Whoever rolls highest goes first. Is that good with you? Yeah. Okay, two. One. So now we're ready to go. So what should I do first? Let's see, I always go I'm known for going for the barley whiskey strategy, but you know what? I'll take it easy and I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna move all the way up here and get carry and get some ships. Mm. So let's move this up here, and place this here. That is gonna give me a ship which I'm gonna place here. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to. I think I'm gonna get some barley. Um, okay. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that because I will really <laughs> do awful. That's right. All right, so you get a barley. I get a barley. Nice. You also created two movement points, but you can decide not to. Use um, I think I am gonna move this guy over here. Okay. All right, so we get a tile and we get to roll. One. One. The cow's gone. Take that one here. All right. 
I am going to move to some rocks. Oh, nice. So we're going to place this here. And that's going to give me uh, stone and more ship. Very nice. It's also going to allow me to move my guy, which I think I'll move. No, I'll leave it there. All right. So we also need some tiles. That's a one. Okay, well, I guess I am going to go for, I'm gonna go for Robert Stewart. Robert Stewart. Um, so I get to put a, um, a piece on the clan map. I think I'm gonna go for a sheep and a cow. And it's a free one. Nice. Okay. Here you go. Which do I have to do this one first? Or can I go to that one? No, you can go all, okay. um, all across. Yeah. Okay, just I always double check. Yeah. You can go as far as you want as long as you pay. Awesome. And since that's free, that's good. So I think it's your turn to roll. Oh. We're supposed to have yeah, there is supposed to be only one empty space. So this one? Mm -hmm. I was slacking. <laughs> All right. Where is the dice taken from us? Ah. A castle or... No, it's a house. Okay, well, it's my turn. Um, I could get Donald Castle. And I think I... Oh, I have to pay two of them. Four. Hmm. Stone Castle. Why? Yes, actually. Let's get. Let's get Donald Castle. Why not? So I have to pay. I I can pay a stone. I don't have uh, wood or barley, so I have to pay that to the market at the cost of two for a barley. And two for us um, wood, and now I can get this. This is gonna give me a landmark cost, uh, card uh, here, Donald Castle, and Donald Castle is gonna allow me to place a clan marker. I'm gonna go with barley and whiskey. Why not? Name barley and whiskey. That's not barley. And I get a person, a Scotsman, I'm sorry. You generate two. Two movements. I think I'll move this guy here. And I'm done. And it's oh, turn again. I got a turn. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this game, huh? So, I think I will get that. Here I am, taking all the tiles. Probably not good, because at the end of the game, if you have a lot more tiles than your opponent, you get negative points. Alright, I'm gonna get this, place it here. I have to pay one ship, but that's gonna give me uh, a barley and trigger my ship and two movements. But um, I think I'll leave my guys as they are. Okay, so it's my turn. I am going. Mm, yep, I'll go for this one. So I have to pay two for stone, so I do not have a stone. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put this one right here. Nice. Um, so I get a whiskey barrel. A whiskey barrel. And then I can pay a barley, which I'll just pay it. Yep, I get she one. She pays a barley. I pay it. She gets a barley from here and then spends it for a whiskey barrel. Another whiskey barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're missing some tiles. Oh, we probably just scored already. At the end of yours, maybe? Yeah, we yeah. just scored. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we just depleted the eight stack. So we need to, um, we're about to do the first in-game scoring. scoring. So first, we're going to go over the four things that we're going to be looking at. 
uh, we're gonna be looking at whoever has the most Scotsman on their home castle. I have zero. I have one. Haley has one. So you get points based on the difference between you and the other players. So in this case, she has one more than me, so she gets one point. Then we move on to the landmarks cards. I have one, Haley has zero, so I get one point. Thank you. Then we move on to whiskey barrels. I have one. Two. She gets one point. And then finally, historical figures. I have zero, Mm -hmm. one. So she gets one point. And then just like that, we move on to the next piece. All right, that's a two. Wood is gone. Thank you. And let's see. Oh, there's a shipbuilder. Mm-hmm. I don't have cow, and I don't have a way to buy cow. But I could sell barley. Good. Yeah, so I'm gonna sell barley. You can do this at any time, and you can sell as many as you wish. So I'm selling that barley for two points. And I am going to get that shipbuilder. So to get this, I'm gonna place it here. I have to pay, uh, is it a cow? It's a cow. It is a cow. But I don't have a cow. So there goes the two coins to buy a cow. This is gonna make a lot of movement, which I think I'll do this one and this down here. Nice. Um, I guess it also creates a barley from around. And that will be it for me. Very nice. All yeah. right, so it's my turn. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get this guy. He's gonna hang out. Robert the Bruce. Mm-hmm. And then I will go on the clan map. And we are going to get, we'll just get some more resources because it's always nice. Good. All right, so you got wood and stone. Uh, at some point, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but the, this mini expansion also adds uh, two tiles. The shipbuilders, there is one that I already got. And they pretty much give you more uh, movement. movement so that you can move that boat along. And you have noticed that we haven't moved our boats, that's because we're waiting for the start of the race tile, which is almost about to get out here. And the, that will dictate when the race starts. As soon as someone passes that tile, that's when the race is on. Yes. So. Okay, so I am going to go. Um, I think I'm actually going to go for. I'm gonna go for this one. Really? No. I'm gonna go for Lock Locky. <laughs> By the way, should I place the ones? This one is mine now. Um, so with Lock Locky, I get two resources of any kind. Nice. So I am going to get um, another barley. Okay. And I'm going to get. I think. A Wood. A wood it is. I'm gonna put that here. And I'm gonna trade a barley for whiskey barrel. A whiskey barrel. Nice. Pretty good. So now we get a tile and we get to roll this. Oof, three. This guy is moving. Oh. Could you get us some flats, please? I think I will um, get this guy. I'm gonna get William Wallace. So getting William Wallace is gonna allow me to go up there in the clan board, and I'm gonna claim. I'm tempted to get those monies, since I don't have monies. I think I'll do that. Keep it simple. We'll get three coins. Yeah, I get to go again. I am gonna go with Glenmore. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna make that jump all the way up to Glenmore. We're gonna be placing this here. Actually, we're gonna be placing this here. And that's gonna activate... Well, first of all, I have to pay a barley. Mm -hmm. But then it's gonna activate everything around it, so I get this barley, I get a ship. Which, by the way, you cannot have more than three resources on a single tile. A stone. And then this itself is gonna give me two whiskey barrels. Oh, yeah, this is Carden. Thank you. And now it's the evil die turns. One gets to go again. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, start of the brace tile. It is. Okay. Oh shoot. What? I never moved my guy. Last time. I'm okay with you doing it. The guy that generated those things. Oh yeah, we've been generating <laughs> movement a lot. Um, we just been disregarding it. Yeah. Um if it's okay, I just yeah. wanted to move him back here. If that's that's okay all right, okay. Yeah. Because I was going to do it and then I Completely forgot. So what's right. going on? So I am going to go with Castle Stalker. Castle Stalker. It was kind of expensive for me. I already got Donald Castle. That was pricey. I was like, well, I had all three. Oh wow. Um, and I'm gonna. Oh, it's one that doesn't need a. Doesn't need. Oh, one. it doesn't need a thingy. Damn it, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so you generate a barley. You get a barley. And two moves. And two movements. And you get a, get a um, oh, Scotsman. It's more so what I wanted it for. And I get three coins. Nice. So I am going to move this guy. I'm gonna move him here. Right back where he was. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have even moved him because Well, I mean, that allowed you to place that yeah, over there. It did. So that was good. So All this right. time I remembered. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead. Maybe I'll get the other ship builder and just go mad. No, <laughs> I think that's just too much. That wouldn't be good. We got more stones, but I don't need that. I'm gonna The Mumus? Oof, but I also want the character. Decisions, decisions. I feel like I should get the moon moons for sure. I don't have them. You gotta catch them all. <laughs> I might regret this, but I'll go with the moon moons. So all the way over here, we're placing this here. Can you do that? Oh no, I cannot because I don't have a person around it to attach. We're gonna place this. Actually. Underneath. This is I'm the worst at keeping these up. Okay. Um, <laughs> good points. I think I'll place it. I can place it here, right? Yes. Because I got this guy here. Yeah. So there you go. So it's still on the shot. There you have it. And there I have it. I get a moo moo and I get a stone right here. And I can generate one move, which I think I will take advantage and place this guy here to give me flexibility and with that it's your turn okay I am going to go for do I get the ship builder oh no <laughs> that's the question that cow is too expensive so that no. is the question so I'm gonna go for a stone I'm gonna put it right here okay so would you generate get a stone. A stone I'm gonna pay one barley one barley for a whiskey farm and then one move if you want it. I feel like we still have a couple more turns before the B stack is depleted. Yeah. Just talking about I that, I think. Move. Let's see. One. Ah, uh, that should build there, babe. That was okay. I couldn't afford it. I mean, I could afford it, but. I am going to go for the person 
Nice. Um, you gotta get that one in. Come on. Um, and I am going to go for. I'm gonna go for person and barley. Person, Scotsman, and barley. So the Scotsman will go in the tile that you just got. Oh no, never mind. You don't have a. You, I guess <laughs> you can place it. About? You can place it wherever you want. I think that's what. Well, the I'm gonna put them right here. Nice. Got the evil die. Is he gonna pass this turn? Two. I think he passes it. Yeah, and die is gonna. So I need to put some out. He's gonna quickly check that. He might trigger some stuff. Okay, so so the die just passed the ra um, start tile, so yes. the race is on now. Okay, uh, with that, it's gonna be your turn, actually. Awesome. So I am going to. Thanks. Okay, so I am going to go for. Um, this one? Okay. So I pay a wood. All right. And then it goes on top of um, something with the same symbol. And with the same symbol, so the box mm -hmm. symbol. So I'm gonna put it right on top of here. Okay. Um, I get a coin. Nice. And then I trigger everything. Everything. So I get a barley. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you do get a barley. I can pay a barley for a whiskey for barrel. A whiskey barrel. Um, and then I get four one, movement. two, three movements. Three movement. Yep. So one, two, three. Nice. And just like that. So We're you off. got a head start. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead. I could take that wood. I don't have wood, and that way I have everything. Yeah. I'm like struggling on those resources. I, I think I will. Why not? Why not? So we're gonna bounce one. We're gonna place this hope here. Okay, so that's gonna give me a wood. Uh, I will sell one of my sheep for one coin. And that's gonna give me a sheep. That's gonna give me a stone. And it's gonna give me a mumu. Um, that is it. Uh, we get a tile, and after my turn, we're gonna be scoring. So, what do I want? I think I'm gonna move all the way here and get some whiskey barrels. Um, however, I think I'll place this here. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna place this here. Uh, it's gonna cost me a stone and it's gonna give me a whiskey barrel and it's gonna allow me to trade in one of these barley for another whiskey barrel and it's gonna give me three movements which I'm gonna use to move one, two, three. Yeah, so we can get rid of this. And we have the the B stack is depleted, we're gonna score again. Yeah. So Scotsman and a home castle. Got one. I have zero. So I get one point. Thank you. Um, landmarks. I have one. I have two. So you get one point. Then whiskey barrels. I got five. I have five. So we're tied. No one gets anything. And historical figures. I got one. I have three. So you get two points. Alright, I will trade in. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five for five points. I'm pretty even. Okay, so we just finished doing the second round of scoring, and it's the die uh, turn. Okay. My turn, your turn. That's alright. Two. Alright. It is your turn. 
What to do? What to do? Okay, so I think I am going to hop on to Nuva Nest. Nice. Classic. Yeah, so I'm going to spend three for a cow. I do not have a cow. Oh, that's fancy. I know. But I do have a sheep. Nice. All right, should I do this? And I'm going to put this right Ooh, here. Oh. Another nice. on top. You can my nice small. That's a smart, smart way to play. So you're gonna trigger everything around. You get exactly. a barley that I'm gonna sell. You're gonna trade it for a whiskey barrel, and um, you generate three. Well, first of all, you get the Inverness card. Sorry, we cannot. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, that is a card. It is a card. I like didn't even nice realize surprise, that. Nice surprise, huh? What? Better than expected. So I get another barley and another. Okay, I like didn't even think that was a thing. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> that and stuff, yep, yeah, it gives you a Scotsman. And now we are just still missing one, two, two movement, three movement. So I get three movements. Yep. So we're gonna one. All right. So she gets to look at those two. Um, and she's gonna pick one and leave the other one for me for whenever I get to that point in the race. I think I'm gonna go with three points. Okay. All right, um, we get. Two, oh, that was one. Three. Yeah. No, well, well, I mean, I'll get it. It's okay. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my three. Yeah, we right? get. Yeah, that what was one, two, three. Yeah, I went there first. Okay. One more. All right. I didn't even realize that was a card. Like, I'm not even joking. Hmm. I just realized I should have moved one of my people over here so I can take advantage of this. But I cannot yet. Dwar Castle. It's not bad. And I got this top. But it's river. I have to go on this side. I'm gonna go with Dwar Castle. I'm gonna jump all the way over here. I'm gonna put Dwar Castle right here. So I'm gonna pay. A mumu, stone, and a wood. And then I'm gonna trigger a mumu, stone, and oh, two movement. But I'm also getting the landmark card for Dwarf Castle. It's gonna give me a coin and one landmark. Well, during my turn, I will sell a mumu for three coins. And I, uh, I, 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 I've been thinking all that. I think I'll just go with Makina, the freebie, and get a uh, Scotsman and two coins. Okay, and then all right, and then just to finish my turn, I did have two movement, which I will use one to move this guy one and I think I'll use the other I'll use the other to move no I'll leave it there and I'll move this guy here all right good okay oh and I forgot to I think I'm gonna go for another luck. Another luck. Put him in here. Oh, shield. So I get a person and a whiskey okay. barrel. Just right. do that first. Whiskey barrel. And it's got some air. On the lock shield. Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. Right there. Um, 
You get a barley from the stuff around it. I get a barley. And you get, what is it, two moves? Two moves. You get two movements. So we'll just... You get to my castle. One, two. Nice. I feel like I'm lagging uh, behind on this race a little bit. Does that I have mean to do I have something to put the to person on the lock? Or? I think you have to. Okay. The only times where you get to pick, I think, it's uh, when you get it from something that doesn't have a tile. I think I'm gonna go with a person. Okay. Nice. Well, she won't have a castle. Alright, I'll roll down while you <laughs> so uh, many people. fill out the dress. Alright, that was two. So James, the second. It's a nice one for you. It's a good choice. Choose if you just want to be the one person. Yep, yeah, uh, we'll get the one person. So I get Mary Stewart, Queen of Scots. And um, with her, we are gonna go. How much? How many coins do we have? We got five. No, we got eleven coins. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell one stone for two. Okay, this is gonna put me at thirteen. Ah, wait. But do I have to pay? Maybe by the time I get here, I won't have the 12. <laughs> you know, because I have to pay one, two to get here. Which means I have to sell something else. So, yeah, I'll sell that other. Uh, what I sell? The donkey? The cow? No, donkey. That's right. I always get confused. Um, so that's 15. But then I will pay one, two. And then this is free to get here. I'll be paying two. So I'm down to 13. And I will claim this one, which will give me uh, eight points for the 12 coins that I have. So if you want, I can, you have 10. You can. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. Um, all right, so that was, that was, yeah, that was Mary Stewart. And then I go again. Um, I guess I could take this for free. Mm -hmm. Instead of, I think I'll get it. Why not? Why not? So I'll get James Watt, and we are gonna claim, starting from here. It'll be free. So this is gonna give me points depending on the size of my river. My river has it's a six tile long, so no wait five. So I don't get six. I'll at least have four. So that gives me that gives me five points. Nice. Five. Mm -hmm. And with that, I'll be your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a leap and I'm gonna go to here. Okay. And we are going to put this guy. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one right here. No. Yeah, we'll put it here. Nice. So I get a stone. Yeah, you get a stone. I get a wood. You get a wood. A barley, uh, which will you? Yeah. Whiskey. Bring the whiskey barrel. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Pretty good. It's a die. Okay, so I'm wrong. One. He goes again. Two. Thorny. It's on.
Okay, so it's my turn. I don't think I want that. I don't even have a wall. Um, what about Armadale Castle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll play. I'll get it. I'll get it. Armadale Castle. I'm gonna place it here. I have to pay. Uh, oh, wow. Three for wood. Expensive. I'll pay three for wood. And then I can pay the stone. And I can pay the barley. And we're gonna get Armadale Castle. This is gonna give me uh, extra points depending on how many coins I have at the end of the game. Uh, it's also gonna give me a cutsman, which we're gonna place it here. And it's gonna generate. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Oh, did you put one coin in the barley? No, there's no coins in the barley, right? Because I'm thinking of buying a barley so I can trade it. Oh, you would have to pay for one then. Yep, I think I'll do. So I'll pay two for a barley, and that barley will be traded into a whiskey bar. And then I generate one, two, three, four, five. So this is this is my this is my shot. Alright, so one, two. Let's see what we have here. Alright, we're gonna go with a whiskey bar. We got lucky and found some whiskey. All right, so two, three, four, five, what is it? six? No, you said that you said five. One, two, three, four, five. It was five. Bad. Cheater, mm -hmm. cheater, pumpkin eater. My bad. Okay, so, so yeah, so I almost made it over there, and that will be the end of my turn. Nice. I got James Max Puddle. So you are gonna get to so go I'm to gonna clan spend board. one. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go for Monroe. Nice. Which I believe is that what that says. I can't read it super well from here. Yeah, it is Monroe. Do you and remember I with us? Pick through these and lay one down. Without, without paying, paying for it. Cost. That's a good one. There okay. you go. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Um so I get a sheep. All right. And I get to move one. Nice. Nice. Oh, I guess that was kind of dumb of me. Of what? Done what? I'm gonna do that different. There's a different okay. one that I wanted instead. Okay. I just looked it ahead. I apologize. I don't want the sheep. Don't want it. I want the cat and Momo. Momo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I think so. Well, yes. I'm just making sure that it makes sense where I'm putting it. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm gonna put it right here. All right. So I can use that. I apologize. So okay. I do get the Momo. You get a Momo. I get, get a wood. A wood. You get a barley, which you will make. A whiskey. Whiskey. And I get to move. And one. you get to move. I was you a lot better. Yep. 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 I'll still move that one. All right. Thank you for letting me do my That's like. Right. Wait a minute. It's a friendly match. All right. So you get to roll the die. Four. One. It's a one. Okay. Get a tile. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? All right, so I think I'll move forward all the way to Soya. And I'm gonna pay a uh, ship for that. Uh, we're gonna place, because it has a yellow symbol, we have to place it on top. Uh, I'm gonna place it on top of Kerry. And that's gonna activate everything around it. So I'll get a wood, I'll get a stone, I'll get a barley, uh, we'll get a uh, Moon, I think. And then I get three movement. So I'll get my boat moving. So here we go. Here. Save. I think I will leave this one for you and I'll get something. Uh I will get a wood. And place a wood. And then um, 
I'll keep moving. So that was one, two, three. And with that, I think I am done. So we get one talent. It's your turn. And after your turn, we get to score. Lockness, what? But, but, what? You could have gotten it, but you didn't. That's true, I didn't see it. You get one more. You get to travel through Lockness and see if you ever get out. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna sacrifice this one. <laughs> you get Lockness. So Lockness means I get to have one resource at all times. Mm -hmm. Um. So I get one movement and then my one resource. So I'm gonna move this guy one. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm gonna get one. Sheep. One sheep? Yes. All right. Remember you can sell stuff whenever you want. No, I'm thinking about Arbi. selling some barley. So I'm gonna sell the barley. Okay. Two coins. I'm gonna sell wood before you can. Yeah, that's a good, good move. Three coins for wood is pretty good. All right, you're good. I think so. Let's see what Dala is gonna do. That's a two. Oh wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. We were supposed out. to do the scoring before the die goes. I mean, we can keep that as a tool. He's gonna move here anyway. But before we do that, we will score. So, we'll start with the Scotsman in our home cast. And of course, I have zero. I moved them. I have one. So you get one point. I've been so focused on the boat race, I forgot to bring my people back in the castle. All right, so next thing is landmarks. I have three. I have five. So that's two points for you. <laughs> and then we get whiskey barrels, I guess I have seven. I have ten. So that's three, so that's three points for you. Okay, and then we got characters. Uh, characters. So I got three. I have four. So you get one point. And after the third round scoring, it's pretty even. It popped back up. It did. And yeah, somewhere in the middle of that stack is gonna be the end of the game tile. And once we pass that, the game is over. So yeah, so that guy was moving. He'll get rid of these guys. He gets to go again. Are we gonna be able to finish our race? That's question. It is the question. It's tight. Oh, it's Georgia. my turn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... Uh, honestly, I am very worried about finishing the race, so, um... I uh, have three movement on my whole bird. <laughs> I think I'll just move one up to here. Nice. I'll place it here. Oh, yes, I can. Uh, Alright, so that's gonna give me uh, movement, and then it's gonna allow me to get four movement, which I won't use everything on my boat. Although if I do, I will get to that treasure. But yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and we get a barley. Yeah, we we'll place it here. And and it's your turn. Okay, I am gonna go for this one. So I pay one wood. And I'm gonna go oh, you can place that. on top of here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. No, this correct. On top of here, yep, I'm gonna <laughs> go here. Probably would be the best. Alright, so you pay one wood? Right? Pay one wood. To build it? Um, 
Um, I'm gonna get a wood back. You get a wood back? I'm choosing to get a wood. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I get stone. the stone. Uh, whiskey barrel. Whiskey right. barrel. And, uh, and then I get to choose one more. You get to choose one more, yeah, because of uh, lockness. Yes. Correct. So that I'm gonna trigger a movement. You're gonna trigger a movement. Nice. So we get one. We get to roll. Two. Rubber farms. It's gone. We got a new tile. And it's my turn. Um I will go with Charles. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's only four. Oh. No, one, two, three. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this is my castle. So You're if I go beat here me, like <laughs> in the race. Yeah, I saw mm. five seven. I definitely have a lot more tiles than you, but I I'll pay for that at the end of the game. We'll see how much I have to pay. But um I think that I will go to Charles. I'll get this guy. This goes away. I'll get Charles. Charles is gonna allow me to play something up there. What do we what should we do with Charles? I think I'll pay one to get two of those guys. Two Scotsmen. Thanks. Listen, in a hot castle. Um, that's your turn. I'm gonna get Castle Moyle. Castle Moyle? Mm, interesting. Um, so I'm gonna get one and one. Okay. And we're gonna put this one. I'm gonna put it right here. Nice. So you get the card, and the card itself means that uh, all her Scotsmen in her home castle are gonna come. Plus two. Twice. So that's pretty good. Oh, I get a person. Mm -hmm. And then you trigger everything around, which will be three moves. Three moves. Plus what your loveness. So one, two, three. Hmm? Get one coin. Get a coin. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think we're gonna trigger. I think we'll just trigger one more movement. All right. Perfect. So we need one, and the die is gonna go. Okay, that's a two. Ah, oh, I was. I kind of wanted that one. Oh wow! It's the end of the world. Is the end of the world as you know? I don't know how this one goes. All right. So, if I trade, oh, it depends on how many I trade, I get points. Yes. So, if you trade five different ones, different ones, it cannot be the same. It'll be one of each. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. You have I think I'll do it. We'll place this here. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I have to pay a wood. Then I trigger stuff around, so I'll trade this for a whiskey bar. And then I get three moves, which I guess I'll continue moving. One, two. Ah! Crushed. Three. We're one away. And I uh, will trigger this, which means that I can trade different wood, different types of goods and I get points depending on how I did it. So if I use one of each, what am I missing? Oh, barley. So that's five, so that's 12 points. Can you pass me 12 points? That was, yeah, that was a good move. Well, I think, I don't know. Um, that's gonna go. Oof, big jump. Yeah. Yeah, game is coming close to an end. Oh man, there's not that many options left. 
this means I can trade something for you for poor. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I get to get rid of someone. Ah, uh, it's not castle. I could trigger this. I think I'll get it. Every single time. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, but that's fine. I thought you were you wanted more like the landmarks. Like that uh, is a or, Oh, well, I guess that's not. Landmark. All right, so this is gonna go on top of Donan Castle. I guess something terrible happened there. Uh, I have to <laughs> get rid of one of my uh, Scotsmen. They died battling the what was the Spaniards? Yes. Anyway, um, I do get a barley here, but I'm gonna spend that barley here for a wisping. Then I get something of whatever I want. It'll be wood, and I get a moon over here. And then finally, I'm gonna be able to trace something for uh, to be able to put it out there. I'm gonna use this ship, and I'll put something out. What should we put out? Um, maybe I should use the like getting rid of something, like million. Mm -hmm. I think that's my probably my best option. I'll go with Macmillan, which means I need to pay one coin to get there. This is gonna allow me to get rid of a tile. I think I'm gonna be getting rid of this wood one. So now on top of that, I did generate two, three, four moves. So that's gonna allow me to finish the race. One, and then you can One, two, three, and then four. Um, I did get this reward. You left me two coins. That's nice. Nice of you. Thank you. You mm, left me one. Sorry. It was a nicer options. than you are. All right. So um, because of that, I will get to finish first and I'll get this card. I'll just place it here. I'll get a whiskey bottle because of that. Do, do I get that immediately? I think I get some. I'll just give it to you now and remember that it's not. Right, this is this is done. Alright, so with that it's your turn. We're gonna hop on over. Oh big jump. Castle. Oh, everything triggers. Everything nice. triggers. Nice. Castle Maze, a good one. I really like how the cards get better as the game progresses. I do. So, I am going to put this one... I was going to get that your plate, but... Then... Oh, you were? Then I'm like, well, Castle May works, too. So, first I'll pay, so it's mm -hmm. one normal, one of these, and then I have to pay three yep. for a wood. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put this one. It doesn't really matter where. Okay. Yeah, because she's gonna trigger so I'm gonna everything. Trigger everything. So I get a person. Mm -hmm. Um, we'll start with the movements. So I get one, two, three, four, five movements. Five movements. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. I get one coin again. So you got two coins at the end. No. She does not prove. Um, and then we're going to get, we'll do res. oh, I, so that was three, I have two more movements. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll do four, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then. And then you trigger everything, so. Trigger everything, so I get a cow. Yeah, so you get a whiskey barrel. And um, you get something of whatever you want. Um, so I get something of whatever I want. So I guess I'll go with a wood. A oh, wood makes sense. I'm gonna sell my wood. Yes, that's nice. Didn't you just pay for it? Yep. That's nice. <laughs> so I was like, I'll spend it. That's a it. good thinking ahead. Um, Anything else? You and want then to I sell? get to activate one more. You do? So, I think I'll do a movement. Yeah. Hmm, I think that's good. Alright, then I'm gonna go. Oh, wait, I'm gonna sell some things. Oh, yes. 
in that coin. Remember, you, you're still gonna be able to get one more. Uh, everything. Cleaning out the market. That's a good strategy. All right, here we go. One. Well, no more Alexander Graham for me. I think it's still good because at least I'll get a, a landmark. A landmark. That's true. All right, so big jump all around. Passing the world's end, ending the game for me. We're gonna place this guy, and I was lucky that he was still by the end of the river. So I place this here. I get Lokmore. Oh, place it here. And what this is gonna do is I'm gonna allow me to get rid of two tiles, similar to what I did earlier. So I'll get rid of Glenmore and Valtain. Why not? And then I get one move, and I get one move over here. It's unfortunate I cannot sell. And I think that's that's it. That's it for me. I'm done. This is the, this is how I end my game. Mm -hmm. Roll. One, two, three. Yeah. All that's gone. And, and I am going to get. I'm gonna get a person. All right. Interesting. So I'm gonna pay two coins. Are you gonna get a double person or which one? No, I'm not. What are you getting? So I'm gonna pay one. Mm -hmm. Wait, one, mm -hmm. two. Ah, oh, nice. I you have, have three. three. Oh, nice. So this depends on how many tiles improve, like yellow tiles you have, the ones you place on top. She has three, so. I get eight points. She gets eight points. That was a solid choice. The only way that I can really start to catch up to you. Okay. 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 So again, we go over and we do um, whoever has the most um, Scotsmans in their home castle. I have five. Haley, you have? I have four times two. So she has eight, which means uh, she gets three points. Yeah, you want to just... Oh, wait, you did finish the race. I did finish the race. I get ten points. Okay, do that, yeah. All right, so here's where we are. So, okay, so that was the Scotsman. Landmarks, I got four. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six, seven. So that's the difference, three, three, three points. Then we got uh, whiskey barrels, I got 10. Uh, oh, yeah, I did get that one. Yeah, you got that one. I got 10. 12. So you get two points. I'm just gonna trade out. Five. Nice. And then uh, characters, we got. I got four. Okay, five. So you get one point. And then, oh, um, we do coins. We do coins. End of game yeah. scoring. So at the end of the game, you do you get one point per coin that you have. And I just realized. I guess I cannot go back, but I just realized I could have sold this for two. Is that too late to do? Yes. No. Oh. No, you can sell it for two. Thank you. Technically, you technically, I ended the game now, so you should have done it on your turn. All right, so we do the the uh, points for coins. So tech, that's technically four points for you, because you get times two. For that is one. true. So I get ten points just because of that. Did you get yours? I did not yet. I don't even know how many points I had. You got a couple of there. 
Okay. Then we could do uh, any cards that relate to the end of the game. So for example, I do have my Armadale Castle. That's going to give me points depending on how many coins I had at the end of the game. I did manage to get all eight, so that'll be eight points, which I'll trade for at the end. And do you have any end game? I don't think so. You know what that means? Yeah. So it is very interesting. We got the exact the exact same uh, Minus amount of points. Two points there, buddy. That's true. But then I get fifteen points from winning the race, and you get ten points. And then the victory was a difference of five, five. points. That was really close. That was a really close game. Yeah, so we are going to wrap up and we'll talk to you guys to tell you a bit more about our experience in the game Absolutely. in a bit. All right, let's talk about Glenmore 2 Chronicles. Thoughts? All right, so I think we should start by talking about the base game by itself. I think it has very solid mechanisms. Mm -hmm. We don't really have um, a rondel tie lane kind of style game in our collection, so I think it's... Uh, holding its spot mm -hmm. in our collection. Um, I gotta say it's very satisfying, the mechanisms, the way it synergizes with each other, like placing a tile, triggering effects that will allow you to trigger other tiles and give you points, it's very satisfying. Mm -hmm. I think, I also think it's very ingenious how the points that are awarded to you depend on how other players are doing. So yes. it kind of forces you to, to keep right. an eye. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things like you definitely when we play with the dice because we're only two mm -hmm. players so we have yep. to play with the dice it makes it very you kind of have to make sure your plans shift on a dime because it can roll and it can land on a thing that you're like oh I want this one thing yep. and the same is true with other players there were many yeah. times in this playthrough that I would see something come out and my eyes would light up and then Axel would take it and I'm like all right, I guess I don't get that this time. So it's, yeah. you have to be okay with losing a tile that you're not, like, if you aren't willing to step way ahead, then you have to be okay with losing that tile. Yeah, yeah, the game is constantly making you decide. It's giving you options and, and no matter what you choose, it's gonna have a consequence for the good and for the bad. I think it's also really nice that it does, it is different every time you shuffle the tiles and they come mm. out in a different way and that mm. creates a new experience every it single does. time. Uh, looking into other things, for example, the art in this uh, game is very beautiful. We, beautiful, um, gorgeous. As you can see probably from <laughs> my t-shirt, we, we really like Scotland. We went, yes. to a, we went to visit the country last year. Yes just crazy it was a year ago at this point beautiful beautiful trip um, we spent a couple of days there and a couple of days in ireland and it was we were able to actually go to a couple of the landmark mm -hmm. cars and so seeing those cars are like a little extra special flavor that we get out of this game just because it brings up those memories and that's yeah. one thing about the game i really love is that the art is very on point with the Scottish country and the Highland like country as a whole. So it's been really fun to play it. And every single time I see a different um, tile that comes up and I remember something else from a trip. So that's something kind of special for, for us. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys, one, if you've ever been to Scotland, mm -hmm. who knows, or two, like if there, what different landmark you would like to go to or you have been to because they are all on there. I know. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. that we don't know. We unfortunately we were there for five days and it was enough to see everything that the country has to offer. So we yeah. would definitely be going back and trying yeah. to like hunt down the locations <laughs> that we learn from this game into the real Bring world. The tiles with us. <laughs> yeah. But I think also let us know if you have a fa favorite tile. Mm -hmm. I know one of my favorite tiles of the last couple of games, it changes every now and then, but is your Quake Castle because it's very thematic in the fact that it is a ruin and you place it on top of another castle 
and that you have to sacrifice a soldier or a Scotsman in order to get it because of the wars that happen there and there's a lot of history and it's very very thematic with the game so every time I see that one come out I always try to grab it but you got it this time it it's probably one of my favorites that's nice so yeah let us know if if you saw a tile and you were like I really like that one mm -hmm. yeah for sure um let's talk about Chronicle 1 itself the, po yes. the dragon boat race so, as we kind of mentioned, we have played this Chronicle a couple of times now, probably four or five. Um, the reason is that the previous times we've been recording this gameplay, technology wasn't our friend, so no. the sound was awful and we just couldn't put that out there for you guys, so we had to redo it. So we have become very acquainted with this yes. Chronicle, uh, to the point where we are ready to move on. I am so ready to move on. Um, I really, really liked it, the first Chronicle, probably the first two times. The last two times, it became something that I was like, all right, like, I guess I have to finish this race because I have to finish it. So it was yeah, something so. that became more of like a chore than something that I would, was like really excited and like was trying to work towards. So I would be really interested to play it with a bigger group of people or with just other people in general and see like how that changes it because it does change it a little bit. So I think just for us two, um, ready to move on yes. to the next Chronicle. So we're just going to like... <laughs> <laughs> we are that down one away. One. But that being said, we're really excited to play... Chronicle number two, Highlander, there can only be one. That's because we are planning on this video being the first one of a series of videos where we play a chronicle on each one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we share that with you guys. Yeah, so we're going to be doing all eight chronicles. Mm -hmm. um, and then there is another additional one that came from the Kickstarter edition that was um, Chronicle A. <laughs> that is going to be pretty fun because it has a certain monster in it. <laughs> so we're pretty excited to see how this journey goes and mm -hmm. how these new chronicles are. Yeah, and if, make sure that if you want to follow along with us, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the uh, bell the notification, button mm -hmm, yep. so that you don't miss out. And if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends. Yeah, and we hope to see you again soon. Yes. Adios. Adios. You're getting a sheep? Alright, so... Here's your sheep.